Now, though, we are heading to Wales. Snoochie Shy became the latest celeb to leave the castle. It's like gold dust. Hear me coming through your speaker. Oh, I'm going to drop. Where's the star? Where's the star? I know! My parcel experience has been lit. I can't lie, it's been litty committee, mate. The easiest way to twerk is actually to put a leg up. Do you see what I mean? I've had the best time and made some of the best friends ever. Nucci has literally been a source of entertainment from the get-go. Hello. <laughs> She's just such a joy to be around. One of the weirdest things that I've ever experienced in my entire life, it's just been the best thing ever. Well, Snoochie joins me now looking so glamorous and beautiful. How are you? How are you feeling to be back in the real world? Hey, yeah, uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all good, you know. Um, it feels really, really strange. Obviously, I got home. I've had six chips so far. I thought when I was in the car, so I was going to eat loads. But yeah, I've just had six chips, but I'm feeling good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Well, you're looking absolutely stunning. And the whole point of this going in there was to kind of overcome your, your fears. And you really did that, especially your fear of heights almost right away. Oh my God, the heights one. That is the only like one that I never wanted to do. And then I saw that a picture had been leaked of like a plank. So then I was in the isolation house, like trying to walk on like a little tightrope type thing to try and get myself practice for it. But you can't prepare for the plank. I think that was one of the scariest ones I've ever done because I don't even go to like amusement parks or like theme park rides. I hate heights yeah, or step on a three step ladder. So yeah, that was, that was definitely a mad one. And I didn't want to drop. That was the main thing. I was like, I don't want to drop. I don't want to drop. I don't want to drop. But did it. Yeah, good for you, good for you. You also did one of those horrible eating trials. Now, I always wonder about that. You know, when you're finished doing all this and you've eaten all these vile things, don't you feel really queasy, Snoochie? Do you not feel queasy for hours afterwards? Right, I have to say that I um, really, really enjoyed the eating trial. I know this is like crazy, <laughs> but I literally loved it. Like, it's like the best, like that's what I wanted to do the most. Obviously, like I've grown up watching the show right. and I think the eating trial is like one of the, you know, one of the ones that you see quite a lot. And I was like, I need to do that. But I definitely ate some wild stuff. Like I think I had like a cow's bum. But do you know what? It just tastes like normal meat, just a little bit cold. I'd say the fermented duck egg, I'm never going to revisit that or a vomit fruit. But no. it definitely does make you feel a little bit queasy after. I mean, I couldn't eat after. No, no it's I, all... I was just in the privy. Mm. It's all sort of swimming, you know, in like a washing machine. It's all like, yuck, it's just horrible. One thing you did, which got a lot of really positive reaction, was the fact that, you know, you've got a wee birthmark on your face. And you talked about that. And, you you know, sometimes yeah. you, you, you cover it up, as we all do. You know, we all do that. But I thought that was really good, Snoochie. And especially a lot of young girls were saying, oh, thank you for doing that. Because we've all got bits of ourselves that we don't really like all that much. And it was really good that you talked about it. Yeah, I think it's just something that, you know, it's always been a part of me. And I think growing up, I was feeling a little bit insecure about it just because of, like, past experiences and stuff. So this was, like kind of like a challenge for me because it's the first time that people had seen my birthmark. Obviously, only my friends and family really mm. knew. Mm. And I was like, do you know what? If I'm going to go into the castle, I'm just going to take heads on. You can't get any makeup anyway. It's not like I can get like some secret foundation, just be like... So I was like, do you know, I'm just going to take it face on. Yeah. And I feel much better for it as well. Good. So, yeah, I'm actually really happy that I did that. I think that was like a big journey for me yeah. in the castle as well. So... Feeling better for it. Good for you. No, good for you. Now, look, we have to talk about a very important person, or pussycat, I should say, Magnum. You even had a picture of your pussycat on your pillow. <laughs> I mean, clearly, you miss that little cat yeah. so much. He is like, I cannot wait to get back home to Magnum. Honestly, he's like a dog. Like, he plays fetch, he likes baths. Obviously, we don't bathe together. That might be a little bit weird. But, um, <laughs> yeah, he has baths, so I'm very excited. He's the first person that I'm going to see when I get home. Like, obviously, I love my mum, but she's going to come second, I think. Yeah, obviously, because Magnum is, you know, he is the man in your life and he is fantastic. You were saying that you were imagining, you know, when like, like there's rats and horrible things in there crawling all over the place, that you just imagined that was Magnum and it made you feel better. Yeah, I think doing that um, uh, tombstone challenge, uh, yeah. what is it, tomb coffin challenge, I'm calling it the coffin, coffin challenge, when Horrible. you're laying in there, you're strapped in, uh. and there's like cockroaches, maggots, Ugh. everything falling over you. I just saw like a little fluffy rat, and I was like, that's what I'm going to like focus on. 
and uh, you know as close to Magnum as possible. So then it just made me not look at anything else that was there, and then be able to get like the shields and do Ooh. the magnet thing. But then when I got out of it, chaos. Well, you d you did incredibly well, Snoochie. Who do you think? Because I know you were saying it's like you've got friends for life in there. You've got another family. You know, you'll all keep in touch. Um, is there someone though that you think deserves it more than the others, or you'd like to see win? Um, I am gonna go for, I mean, obviously Louise is amazing. She was like our mum in the group, sure. so definitely Louise. But then even Frankie or Danny or like Matty or someone, I can't choose one specific person, I'm sorry, I can't. No, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Frankie or Danny, I'd say. Fantastic. Well, look, enjoy the luxury, enjoy your reunion with Magnum the Pussycat, because that's very important and lovely to see you. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. And I'm Love. a Celeb continues tonight, nine o'clock on ITV. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.